Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As I'm discussing personal identity, this is the 13th lecture of this series. And we, I am discussing the parameters of age determination. And the contents of the today's lecture talk will be that I will be discussing the uh, more feature in age estimation in advancing age. And we will understand what is uh, growth and development and what is age span and the lifespan. And then as other scientists, the Krogman gave the periods of development. So starting with the lecture, the parameters in the advancing age. So regarding the concept of uh, growth and development, growth is measurable. These are the physical changes which occur throughout person's life. So these are the measurable changes which appear in the uh, body of the person throughout its life. For example, his height, it keeps on changing with the developing, with the growth. Similarly, the weight, weight keeps on increasing with the uh, advancement of the age. Then the body shape, the dental structure, not only the regarding the eruption of the teeth but only the then also the size and various other changes which appear they also are noticeable. Then body measurements. Body measurements keep on changing with the growth. So these are the physical changes which appear in the body and they are measurable. Then the uh, development it refers to many changes like the intellectual changes, the mental changes, the emotional changes which occur over a period of time like maturity. The person becomes mature and these intellectual, mental and emotional skills and changes which occur throughout the maturity period. This is a photograph showing in the male and female the uh, physical development from a child to the old age. Then regarding the age span and the lifespan. Here this picture will showing uh, the age span also and the development prenatal period then the childbirth, infancy, babyhood, early childhood then the late childhood, puberty, adolescence, early adulthood, then the middle age and the old age. So these are various uh, age spans in which there are characteristic features which develop within the body. Now the age span. The age span, it begins with the conception within the womb and then after birth it passes through various stages which end up with the death. So these are various phases in which the body undergoes and this age span has three distinct phases, two stages of activity and one of rest which is in the middle. So three phases of life, uh, phases of the age span, they are the first is the proliferative phase, second is the static phase and the third is the retrogressive phase. In the proliferative phase, this is an active, biologically active period where there is development in the human body and it has got two distinct stages an intrauterine and an extrauterine. In intrauterine starting from the conception to the development of the fetus to the full term and then extrauterine after the birth from birth to up to the age of 25 this is the proliferative phase during which the development and the proliferation of the various uh, centers is going on and the 
development of the human being is going forward. Then there is a static phase. This is the second and biologically inactive period. And usually it is uh, between 25 to 45 years of the age and in which no change occurs in the body, that is no drastic change which is appreciable appears in the body. Then the retrogressive phase. This is the third phase. In, in this third phase there is again biologically active period. First is the proliferative phase. There is a uh, phase of development and this retrogressive phase there is uh, biological active but it is a degenerative phase that is the now the body is degenerating and this is from year 45 to onwards and every part of the body shows the degenerative changes so this is the uh, spine which is showing the degenerative changes so all the body showing degenerative changes till the old age. So this animation is showing that the degenerative changes then uh, makes a person old. Then regarding the lifespan. A scientist uh, Krogman, they determined, they uh, he div basically di divided the age into seven periods and this famous scientist who divided the lifespan into seven periods and the first period is from birth to five years and estimation of the age during this period depends upon the ossification centers which appear after birth. Then the second period it is from age 5 years of age to 12 years. The age estimation during this period depend upon the growth of the centers of ossification and appearance of additional secondary ossification centers. Not only the growth of the primary but the appearance of the secondary ossification centers. And in the third period, this is from age 12 to 20, during this period, the union of epiphysis with their shaft in most of the long bones occur. And in the period 4, this is from age 20 to 25 years. During this period, nearly all the epiphysis in the body have fused with their respective shafts. Except the medial end of the clavicle which is extremely variable in appearance and union. Then the period 5, it is from age 25 to 36 years. In this period, the skull suture begin to close. They start fusion and this fusion is from endocranial to ectocranial. And these skull sutures are important landmark like the sagittal suture, the coronal suture and the lambdoid. And period 6, this is from 36 to 50 years. Further progress in the fusion of the skull sutures occurs in this period. And in other uh, aspect is that early degenerative changes, they start appearing in the articular surfaces of the joints. The joint surfaces start degenerating in this period. Then period 7. It is from 50 years onward, then the closure of the sutures and the joint changes, they progress further. That means now the sutures have been advanced to complete closure and the joint surface have further damaged and they are further deteriorated, degenerated in this period. And the calcification of the uh, cartilages like the laryngeal cartilages, costal cartilages, it takes place during this period. And the important feature in this period is the pathological changes in the skeleton that is the degenerative or destructive changes or with the advanced age which appear in the skeletal surfaces or the joint surfaces and from there we can assess the age.
So thank you very much. This is all about uh, the uh, age estimation in advanced age or advancing age. Take care. Allah